Looks like a lot of rain. We've only had an inch and a half of rain so far. That's why I say only inch and a half rain. Fed some cows here. Even a couple passes here. Even on the native prairie ground here that's never been broken up. It's just been native grasses. The tractor even sinks everywhere you go. It don't matter where you are. You're from just making a good imprint to pushing up, you know, making an indentation in the ground. It's still raining yet. We'll probably end up with two inches after all said and done here. It's like every other storm, just kind of just keeps regurgitating. Just hangs around and then it just keeps pouring and pouring. Well, I'm glad we got done what we had yesterday. Well, that's done. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know when we're going to be in the fields now. What a mess. Look at that. Yeah, we're moving everything out of there. Gave them three bales, put two bales in the feeders and unrolled one. Yeah, that's just a that's like a that's like a corral down there now. On that native pasture area. That's just every little any little valley you go through. You, it's it's just like a sponge, and even the tractor makes tracks through it terribly, except for on the hills. So, yeah, it's gosh, there's their water everywhere. And poor cows, I, I feel bad for these cows, I really do. I think that's the thing out of all this. I feel bad for the for the animals. They can't enjoy green grass because it just doesn't grow when it's like this. It's it's got all the moisture to pull from, but no sun, no warm weather, just nothing grows. Or maybe, I know the organic stuff takes longer with plowing versus running the no-till drill, but maybe we're 20% planted, maybe. That's it, at least you got the organic stuff in. That's, you know, that needed to get in. That's, well, depends on mother nature, I guess whatever she wants to do, but, you know, that can get hauled out pretty much immediately once when, whenever harvest comes. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. I was going to plant some spring wheat, but I might not anymore. It might not happen on those fields. I'm sure we're going to have extra flax seed left, and we're going to have extra soybean seed left, so I might end up planting some more flax seed and more soybeans instead. I'd rather have some spring wheat for some straw, but... Well, that might not happen. We need straw. We'll always have some oats to bale up. So, as I said before, I've never seen sandy soil have trouble with drainage before. I've never seen sandy soil not want any more moisture. It's just crazy. Yeah, and also I lost one of my cows last night. One of my cows died last night. One we took to the vet, 341, croaked. So it only took her a week and a half, and oh, that's it. Had her up at the vet a few days ago, and. Vet said hardware, don't know where, something, but yeah, I'm down here now, you can see more water sitting here. <laughs> Usually there's never any water sitting here, and that sucker's even flowing along the ditch there too and, and everything, so <laughs> that's nuts how much water's there yet. Uh, who is that? That's number 12. Buddy! My buddy. Yep, that is definitely number 12. <laughs> I know I know his beller. <laughs> it's funny. It's like that with some, a lot of cows, too. Like Pesty. Number 344. I know her beller from a mile away. Oh, I don't know how much hay we go through a day yet. Well, we feed. Well, every other day, we gotta feed. Yeah, we're, we're only feeding every other day now, really. But... Three, six, nine, twelve. So probably like seven bales, six to seven bales a day yet. So that comes to around probably eight thousand pounds of hay yet. We're feeding yet, so every day that goes through every day. So going through a lot of hay yet. 
the cows are out grazing, you know, they, they're still out grazing yet. Even here, the cows we fed. You know, they're kind of just kind of wandering yet. Cause they want green grass. I don't blame them. They want green grass. They probably do a lot better too right now. Well, I never dreamt of doing this, I guess, ever, but we're going to pump this water in this ditch here over to here. And it's going to overflow across the, the road here to this ditch. And then see this pumped out so much. We're going to pump him the rest of it over there then. So, and get it out of here. Because the problem is here is that this just seeps in the crawl. And we need this crawl to kind of somewhat start drying out. So we got to work calves here in these next few weeks. Um, all this water here, it just, it seeps through and nothing dries out, so this has to get out of here. I mean, that ditch is, that ditch is full as it can get. Plus, who knows if it seeps up into those green bins then, too. It's the other problem, too, so it's, that water's got to get out of there. Can't, can't believe we'd be doing that. Put the TG and the 8870 set out in the rain. The Massey's setting out too up north, getting got washed off. So the few times I can let, actually let the tractors get washed off. So, but I yeah, don't really want to move them. We will tear up the ground. It is super soft, even gravel. It's it's just incredibly soft here. <laughs> it is bad, but oh, they're somewhat clean now. Let's let 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 the rain do the work for me. From time to time, it's the easiest way to clean machines around here lately is just let the rain do it for you at times. Not all the time, sometimes, but but yeah, look at these tractors though. Look at them, bossy. I think this tractor is 22 years old this year. That tractor is 17 years old this year. Do they really look like that? I don't know. They look pretty nice. What does he have? 4,600 hours. He's got 3,200 hours. So should have the T9 sitting beside there now. <laughs> this used to be the biggest tractor until 2005. We bought him and now he's no longer the biggest tractor because the T9. some progress. My cinder block's out of the water a little bit now. Just a little bit. Man, is there water here. You can tell over there it's down a little bit over there now. Gosh, there's a lot of water here. Well, we, I don't know, maybe we pumped, I don't know how many gallons it went now. At least 5,000 gallons already, I would guess. It's a steady stream here. I'm gonna go put more water in my fields. That's about all it's gonna do. I pump for an hour over there close to it, so, uh, so I'll probably move 10,000 gallons and probably knew, probably move about close to 10,000 here too, so we'll get to be pumping 20,000 gallons out of here.
my cinder blocks in there somewhere. <laughs> Hope that'll make that corral dry out a little bit better now. Less water pushing through in there. Should almost have some drain tile in there. Hmm. Never imagined putting drain tile in here, but I don't know, maybe. Still flowing 40 hours later. Still flowing over here. Yeah, what a sick. I can't believe this is actually a cesspool all over down here. The tractor sinks two feet here in this little area. Even out here. Cleaner is on the hill. Nine cows. Not sinking too bad there. Got a pesty following him there. Incredible.